my dear child life can be a journey of ups and downs smooth paths and rough terrains through every challenge and every trump there is one constant presence that we can always rely on god he walks beside us guiding our steps and giving us strength when we need it most so when we feel overwhelmed his love is a reminder that we are never alone so he knows our struggle and our victories and his unwavering support and courage us to keep moving forward as we navigate through each day let's remember to lean on his wisdom and trust in his plan for us in times of uncertainty let our faith be our anchor knowing that god is always with us providing comfort and hope the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside still waters and he restores my soul so he leads me in path of righteousness for his name's sake so my child know that just keep praying god will show you what to do next when life feels uncertain and the path ahead seems unclear remember that prayer is a powerful tool through prayer we can find peace guidance and strength so it is in those quiet moments of conversation with god that we can hear his voice and feel his presence so don't lose heart keep praying with faith and trust that god has a plan for you he is always with you ready to lead you and light your way trust in the lord with all your heart and lead not on your own understanding in all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight keep your faith strong and let god wisdom guide you through every challenge he knows the desire of your heart and the best steps for your future so my child know that as we come together to reflect on god's word this evening let's look at james and consider the heart behind our prayers you ask and do not receive because you ask amiss this verse points to a crucial aspect of our prayer life and our motives sometimes we may wonder why our prayers seem to go unanswered james tell us that it's not just about asking but about asking with the right heart and intentions when our prayers are driven by selfish desire we miss the true purpose of prayer which is to align our hearts with god's will that you may spend it on your pleasures our prayer should not be centered on self gratification so instead they should reflect a sincere desire 
to see god's will done in our lives and the lives of others it is easy to fall into the trap of asking god for things that serve our own interest but true fulfillment comes when we seek his kingdom and righteousness above all else Tonight let's examine our heart and the motives behind our prayer. Are we seeking God's will or are we focused on our own desire? Let's ask God to help us pray with pure hearts, truly seeking his plans and purposes. As you prepare for rest, take time to reflect on your prayers. Ask God to purify your motives and help you seek his will in all things. Trust that he hears you and will answer according to his perfect plan. So my child know that may God grant you the desires of your heart and make all your plans succeed. When life is hard remember that God can restore everything trust in him to rebuild what is broken Love and grace are always with you ready to heal and renew lean on your faith and let his light lead you Every day find hope in God's promise of restoration. He will bring peace to your heart and strain to your spirit. Believe in his power to restore your life and fill you with joy and hope. With God's help you can overcome any obstacle and find renewed strength and purpose. So nothing is impossible with Jesus Christ. So my child know that God reaches us in surprising ways even as we stumble through our turmoil and pain. He is patient and kind. He is always near. waiting for us to turn towards him and he speaks when we open up our heart in complete vulnerability we never know where the lord will appear to us but we can settle into a posture of receiving his voice so even when it comes to unexpected ways especially when it comes in an impacted ways like the fires of trial and suffering so our pain has purpose we can believe god when he says he works all things together for good so attacks health struggles strained relationships feelings of disappear and worry all things work together for our good and his glory we may never fully know the reasons for our suffering but we can be certain that whether it feels like it or not so we are on holy ground because the holy one is with us making a way in the wilderness IPS if you have faith and trust in God and if you want your all wishes comes through type email